So we'll shoot some footage of you welding for a little bit, and then we'll go back to the apartment and talk about some other stuff. Yeah, that sounds good. And we have permission from the school to film well, there, right? I haven't actually asked anybody. I want you to get burned while we're there. I don't know why. You do want me to? I kind of think it'll be funny to watch you get burned. You get... Start dancing. Do a little dance. Because you get one in your shoe or something. You'll see what I'm talking about. You get lovely molten steel gifts to the to the hard candies. You sit down and, and that falls in there and it slowly melts through every piece of clothing you have on. And then it runs down your leg into your boot. Do a little dance. And you look like a freaking idiot. And then you move along. Deal with it. It's fun. You're constantly defending yourself from pain. Burn my hat on a piece of metal. Holding a flux core gun. It got too hot, just melted through and boiled my skin. Another one right there, you can kind of see it's pink. A little aluminum burned off part of my beard. Eventually you just, you get over it because if you if you keep jumping at it, like you keep jumping away from all the pain or you keep, you're afraid of it, you're, you're not gonna get anything done because you'll just be crying in the corner the whole day. So, I'll let you burn yourself or something if you want. I ended up meeting a guy at my church who owns a ranch and he offered me to work for him at his ranch over the summer. So I ended up out there. I kind of heard about welding and I knew a little bit about it and I really appreciated the skill that it took to put those things together. Hop in. The goal of the whole program is to put out coherent and skilled welders. And not people that can just like stick stuff together but know what they're talking about, know what's actually happening scientifically and metallurgically and actually have some understanding of the entire industry. This just takes a lot of practice and you get really frustrated but it's just part of the thing, part of the part of part of the learning experience. So you just want to burn a little bit? Which means weld. Sorry. Burning means welding. looking into uh, fabrication. I really wanted to get into building uh, customized equipment. Whatever they wanted, I would make it. I really thought that was cool. It was an interesting uh, concept to me. They come to you with an idea, you procure a solution and make it from scratch. Uh, well, welding welding is kind of like a lifelong learning experience. You never really are done learning. There's more than just pulling a trigger or striking an arc and putting in a weld. There's a lot of information, a lot of actually, you know, how do you prepare these two pieces of metal for each other? You, know, you gotta, you gotta cut them a certain way. You gotta angle these and that, and you gotta learn all the fabrication of it and all the the ins and outs of what happens before and after the weld go in. Try to move fast. Move as much lovely as possible. Positive, negative. For the rod, when I touch this, the metal, complete that circuit. Creates an electrical arc, just like like when you put the light switch and it shocks your fingers. The same thing, but really powerful and continuous, and it's gonna melt the metal together. What's up, man? When I strike an arc, dude, it's gonna be really bright. It'll really, really hurt your eyes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stay welding, and that's when you drop your hood. Welding.
I'm gonna do a vertical uphill pass on a T-joint with a 78 team ride. Arc length is extremely close. Wiggle a little bit from side to side. And I have about 10 to 15 degree electrode angle. As I move up, I get a really uniform, nice looking weld. That's, that's pretty much it. That's as easy, as simple as it gets. And, uh, right, so business-wise, I guess welding, welding is exploding. It's becoming higher demand. What happened was the college degree became really important and it was it was kind of a thing. Don't don't work hard and sweat a lot. You know, you want to have a degree and be in an air conditioning room and uh, you don't want to have to work too hard for money. The, the goal is not work hard and still make money. At this point, there's there's so few of them. Companies are willing to pay top dollar for people who can weld, even though it used to be welders got paid the least because it was uh, a kind of an uneducated work field. A welding degree, associates, 18 months can land you easily at 50,000 a year starting out. So it, it's kind of flip-flopped in the business side of who gets, who gets paid more. And then you have things that are welded like your car. Someone has to tell the robots that weld your cars how to weld. You know, things things are welded that you don't realize. The light posts on the highways, all of the traffic lights, and even there's technically welding inside your iPhone or your smartphone. It's so vast, it's kind of hard to make a decision, and hard to decide what part of the industry you want to go into. So it's, it's uh, job security to say the least that pretty much anyone out there is needs welders, so. I was in Yuma, Arizona, stationed in Combat Logistics Company 16. Went to Afghanistan in 09, and uh, basically, yeah, I was a welder. Enjoyed it for four years, and then ran out as fast as I could. <laughs> Got out of there. We saved we saved some lives. Actually, the plating that I that I welded on saved saved four Marines' lives in a in a Humvee because uh, they came up with this new high-tech badass stuff that, uh, to put under the trucks. Just lift it up in the air, no damage to the to the uh, outside of the truck or the bottom of it, and that's saved their lives. It's pretty cool. Um, right now, I'm, I'm trying to find the most money that I can make as a welder, I'm trying to get back into it. We made it out of wide flange, beams. Um, we made it so that we could have a level surface, but we have a lot of room here to cut. The first project, I shared it with my buddy Fernando. We uh, we worked together, put it together. It took us like a week. Uh, it's the first thing I've ever really fabricated that that's actually useful. It rolls around pretty well. So, the fab table, it's a good experience. Flux core welded all the joints. Tried to make it chest high so that it's easy access to whatever you're cutting or working with. Uh, that's about it, it's a pretty simple project. Just a big square. Some days you don't want to. You don't want to do anything. So you kind of have to gear up or listen to some heavy metal music or something, but I don't know, what's cool about welding is if you're having problems or like in life or something, having a bad day, as soon as that hood drops and you start welding, all that you can think about is that weld. It's kind of, it's like yoga, but much better. Much more manly, I suppose. Just don't really think about anything. And it's really peaceful, it's really nice. Experience is what happens when things don't go the way you want them to. And that really stuck with me, you know, because you have you have this plan, you set everything up, blueprints, you know, welding machines, and you got all the logistics together. 
and something goes awry and you get mad and you know everyone's in bad mood something went wrong you know when something goes wrong don't get all you know upset because it's just gonna teach you something new I want to see you try you want to try Are you serious yeah yeah okay